Welcome to the official Monster Hobbies YouTube channel. Today we've got a really cool one for you to see. This is Monogram's 1993 Chevrolet Camaro pace car. Check that out. That's a really cool one. And if you really want to see some cool model car unboxing videos, tips and texts and everything else, at the end of this video, I want to tell you about an exclusive Monster Hobbies channel that you can go to where all that kind of stuff is going on. So without further delay, let's go down to our bench and see what's in this box. Today we go all the way back to the Indianapolis 500 racetrack as we check out Monogram's 1993 Camaro Z28. Now this is a skill level 2 model kit, requires glue and contains 85 pieces, molded in 1 25th scale. On this side of the box we get the choose the model kit that's right for you, skill 1, skill 2 or skill 3. And then down here we get a nice write up on the 93 Camaro Z28. On this side of the box we get a wonderful rear 3 quarter shot, a front 3 quarter side view and a look underneath our hood. So now let's take the lid off our box and see what's inside. So right away we get our instruction sheet. It says that I bought this at Zeller's on October 16th, 1996 for $6.97. Happy days! Inside we've got our decal sheet and then I never even opened this. <laughs> There's all our white plastic components right in the bag here as well as our windshield. Now that was not put in a bag, so hopefully nothing scratched on it. There's our wonderful chrome, and then we've got our tires. So now I'm going to clear the box out of the way and we can take a look at the instruction sheet. Here we have our instruction sheet with a wonderful illustration of the Camaro Z28 pace car, as well as the Indianapolis 500 logo. Down here we get a wonderful write-up about the 93 Camaro and that it has a 5.7 liter 280 horsepower V8 engine driving through a 5-speed transmission and all the good ins and outs about the newly designed body and the F-body chassis and everything. Just uh, really good stuff, really good read. So as we open this up you can see that we've got panels 1 and 2. So right away we start off with our radiator which is kind of unusual. Normally in these model kits you start off with the engine but there's the two fans gluing onto these two pegs on the back of our radiator. And then we've got the front fan shroud gluing on over top. The entire fan drops into our chassis, which says to be painted black. So how many steps does it take to assemble an engine? Well, quite a few. You can see here at step three, you've got your right and left hand engine with a transmission that gets glued together. Panel four shows our oil filter being installed. In panel 5, the rocker covers and the cylinder heads glue onto the block. Panel 6 shows the manifold top and intake manifold being glued on, as well as our exhaust manifolds. Panel 7, the starter gets glued onto that side. Panel 8 has the timing cover added onto the front of the engine. Panel 9 has our control unit and our belts and pulleys being glued on. And then in panel 10, you get your water pump. And finally, in panel 11, you drop the whole thing into the chassis. Carrying on in panel 12, you have the upper radiator hoses being glued into place and this is how they would attach into the engine bay. Panels 13 and 14 show the exhaust assembly. So here we have our exhaust pipe and you add on the rear muffler and the collectors and up here you add in the second exhaust pipe for the other side of the engine into the catalytic converter and then drop all of that onto the chassis, making sure you align up this pin with this hole here and these ends of the exhaust pipes with their correlating exhaust manifolds. Panels 15, 16, 17 and 18 are all the drivetrain assembly. So here we have our rear differential, a sway bar and our exhaust shield going up onto here. And then in panel 16, we're adding on the disc brakes, the inner wheel, the tire and the outer wheel. Now these are all pegged in, which is quite nice. There is a little clip here, so make sure you don't put uh, glue inside there, otherwise your wheels won't turn. And then make sure you get rid of all seam lines on here because if you don't, it, that will also jam up your wheel. Then in step 18, we so show the rear assembly being dropped into the chassis from up underneath. And panel 17 here shows the other side with uh, the wheels all going in place. 
Panels 19, 20, and 21 show the suspension assembly for the front. So here we have the front suspension unit. It has rack and pinion steering on there. You add on the disc brakes up front and then these shocks and springs and you build up your wheels like this and then all of that gets put together and glued up into the front end. Panels 22, 23, and 24 show the installation of the glass. Now this glass is pretty tricky because first off you have to paint the uh, black seals around on the inside, add in your rear view mirror, and then weave this in through the body from the front and then have it all click into place. Now right here we also see our decals for up and underneath the hood and all the different paint colors you need in there. Next up we have our interior assembly and here you get the wonderful Camaro dashboard and all the little paint that you need inside here. And then there's our steering column, our steering wheel, all that gets attached and then turned over and put into the body upside down. Now here in panel 27 we see our interior bucket and the door panels. This is a decal that goes onto the door panels and all of this pops into place very nicely. Panel 28 shows our rear seat and the center console. You glue down the gear shift lever and our side decal panels and then that hooks up into the interior pan just like this. Panel 29 shows our seat being linked in. Panel 30 shows the front bucket seat in two pieces being squished together and then hooked into the interior bucket. And here in panel 31, we get to see the decal placements for the seats. They do have a right and left hand side, so just make sure you get these in in the correct order. Here we have the chassis assembly and what we have is right and left hand sides of the brake booster. Once you glue those together, that drops into this notch into the interior bucket, which then gets turned upside down and hooked up into the body. There's two little peg pins that go on there, so that's how that goes. And then in panel 34, we see the chassis being dropped into the body shell. Panel 35 shows the front end of the Camaro. Here's all the little rectangular headlamps and turn signal lights all being glued into place. Then it says to paint in amber and that kind of jazz. There is a tool for this that's included in the model, so that's good. And then here we see the front bumper being glued in place onto the body. Panel 37 shows the wiper cowl assembly being glued into place. Panel 38 shows our rear taillights being glued in. And then panel 39 shows the bumper being attached. And in panel 40 you get the spoiler with the warning light. Here we get panel 41 showing the intake duct being glued in under the engine bay. And then 42, we get our right and left hand side mirrors being glued on the body with the chrome being inserted as well. And then panel 43, we see some decals and the upper hoses. And then we get our hood dropping in place. Now here on our instruction back panel is all the decal placement for right and left hand side as well as the back and up on the top of the car. And down below right here, we've got our paint call out sheet. Now here we have our wonderful looking Camaro body and take a look underneath the hood. Look at all that wonderful detail that's up molded in here. Monogram did a really good job on this one. You can see the Z28 logo right in there, the door handle, the side trim. Across the back, we've got the sunken in Camaro letters, which are also really, really good. There's the fuel door, and again, the door handles are nice. There's a little hook for hooking on that dashboard. And then if we look underneath, you'll notice some mold marks on the interior, up in the roof panel and in around the back, in the inner wheel aprons. So again, that number 16 hobby blade can get rid of that. But you know, here's what you expect from Monogram. Basically, perfection. And I do believe we've got it in here. This parts tray was actually heat bent over on itself, so I carefully unbent it so it might crack, so just so you know. There's our door panels, our front and rear bumpers, the front of the bucket seats, our seat backs, the rear seat and center console, there's the side mirrors, the steering wheel, the dashboard, the rear spoiler, and the hood. So let's bring this up to the camera carefully. See what I mean? Hinged. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to just twist that there. Okay, there's our hood. So as you see, you've got the nice little openings for the, mount, uh, the matting. 
And then there are a couple of mold marks in here. There's a rear spoiler with a mold mark right in the center and our inner door panel. Again, really nicely done. Take a look at the levers and mechanisms all in there. Really excellent work. The little vents in the hood looks just like a 93 Camaro. How many of you actually owned a 93 Camaro? Let us know in the comments down below. Take a look at that wonderful dashboard. Looks very much like the Corvette dashboard of the time, doesn't it? Again, here's our steering wheel with some nice detail, the little airbags. I think this might have been around the introduction of airbags, really, 93, early 90s. Let us know in the comments down below. I know there was one in a 72 Oldsmobile or something like that, but that doesn't really count as far as modern airbag technology goes. It's more an experimental thing. There's a little uh, Camaro emblem, Chevy emblem, pardon me, bow tie right in the center of the grill. Again, really excellent looking work. The uh, seats look like real seats with the leather uh, and all the little sewing in there. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, there's our parts trees. On this parts tree, we have our suspension components, our exhaust, our radiator cooling system, and then our belts and pulleys. There's the steering column, as well as our interior bucket, and this nice curved piece back here. Again, really excellent work. Here's a bunch of the colors it was molded in, white and black, all depending. There's the monogram logo up on the back of the uh, interior tub. So there's our interior tub, and as you can see, it is quite nice. These side door panels dropping in give it that extra bit of detail. A little bit of a raised mold mark here on the carpet on the center of the top console. Again, or transmission tunnel, I guess you'd call it. There's our radiator there. I can see a little bit of orange on there, so that's probably mold release agent. Make sure you clean that up. There's that front suspension. Really excellent work on here. I think it should be nice and easy to build with all the seats snapping into the holes. Next up, we have our chassis, and then we've got our wheel backs and our disc brakes. There's that brake booster and the radiator hose, as well as our radius rod up there. And this has been molded in a lot of colors, different numbers. You get white, metallic blue, black, or red. So I guess there's a lot of these made back in the day. Look at how nice that undercarriage is. Quite a lot of great detail on there. The disc brakes look just perfect. Turning this over, you can again see just how smooth it is inside here. There's the little holes for the wheels. I do believe this is a quasi snap together, just like Quasimodo. It rings the bell tower. Anyway, there you go. This parts tree contains our engine block and transmission, both right and left hand sides, valve covers, and then our springs, our exhaust manifolds, our rear axle, and that heat shroud. There's a starter motor and the little, uh, I guess basically a distributor sending unit. There's that special tool for pushing in those headlights. So let's take a look at how great this is. Look at that transmission. That's some really excellent detail work on there. Oil pan is molded in place. There's our exhaust manifolds and that rear axle. Again, very wonderful work from Monogram. Now here's a wonderful sight. We've got our chrome components. Again, take a look at those nice factory stock Camaro wheels. Really excellent work. They even have holes right in between there where it's opened up. There's our exhaust system. Really excellent. Cylinder heads are chromed. That's pretty interesting. And then there's our front timing cover. It's got all the, uh, the distributor, and, or not the distributor, the alternator and all that molded in place. So again, made nice and simple for a nice weekend assembly. Next up, we have our clear components and our transparent red components. There's the windscreen and the rear window. And again, like I was saying, you need to paint the uh, molding in here in black and then slip this up underneath. That's going to be interesting. There's all the little headlights and marker lights. You can see where that tool is really necessary. There's our rear taillights and the rear brake light. Nice letter B in here in red if you ever need one for anything. So again, really nicely well detailed, easy with the pins in the center to get everything up and aligned, and overall quite nice, quite clear and quite beautiful. So that's your clear components for this kit. And on this parts tree, we get a wonderful set of Goodyear Eagle GT tires. 
These again are the directional style which were very popular in the 90s and I see that you can still get tires much like this from uh, Michelin and a bunch of other companies. We had a Costco flyer come in the other day. Again, the lettering on there is really well detailed, as is the tread pattern. You will need to cut this off and cut it off the tree, and then use your tire spinner tool and some sandpaper just to smooth out that tread. And here we have our wonderful 1993 Camaro Z28 pace car decal sheet. Here's the side decals, the Chevy logo, the interior decals, and then the side door decals and all the stuff that goes up under the hood. A license plate that says Chevrolet is the heartbeat of America and our Camaro window decal. There's some of the Indianapolis decals on there and again a really wonderful sheet made by Monogram. Well I really hope you enjoyed that look at our Monogram 1993 Camaro pace car. Another great awesome model kit. And thank you once again for sticking to us with the end of the video, or all the way to the end of the video, however you want to word that. So I was going to tell you about a great channel that you can check out, and it is right here. Now this is the Monster Hobbies mon uh, Model Car Garage, and on the Model Car Garage we do unboxing videos, as well as tips and techs for you to build better model cars, show and tell videos, and many, many other cool things. So that is right there, and if you want to go directly to the channel, just click down here. And until next time everyone, happy model building, and we'll see you in the next video.